I'm Karina Tech, author of Scolio Pilates, and this is Side Bending for Scoliosis. I've had a lot of questions about the side bend because often it's recommended for scoliosis. There uh, are very good qualities of side bending for scoliosis. However, side bending correctly with scoliosis is quite difficult. I find that it's an advanced exercise. Let me show you why. So this is my spine. I have a three curve scoliosis. My low back looks like this. My upper back looks like this. So if you were to look on the outside, I have a little bump here on my back on my right side, and I have a little bump here on my back on the left side. The first thing we want to do is elongate those curves. And I wish this coral could move. <laughs> it's very handy for this video, by the way. Um, but I, as, as I elongate, what you will end up seeing is two straight pieces of coral. More like this. <laughs> it doesn't straighten all the way from this position, but it does come to straighter. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for this to elongate and go to that. Once we get to that position, now we can think about side bending. The difficult part about side bending is that these two points in our body are a little bit like this coral. They move more, but sometimes they don't move a lot more. So when you ask your body to side bend, if these points aren't very flexible, then they're not going to bend with you. Instead, what happens is they bend at this junction. So I side bend and watch this junction. I side bend and it's the junction that moves. These two pieces stay almost the same. So even if I go the other way, it's the junction that bends and not the two curves. So that's what we want to change. Well, first, we're going to elongate this shape to this shape. So pull up very, very tall. You can do that by elongating the arms overhead or by pressing the arms down and reaching uh, the side opposite of your bump. So for me, this is my bump side. I'm going to reach this side down to the floor. There's my elongation. From that point, I'm going to let my arms go and I'm going to stay long like I'm floating off a magic carpet here. I'm going to put my thumb right where this bump on my back is between two ribs and I'm going to try to keep squeeze those two ribs right around that thumb and then I'll open it up again and I'm going to squeeze those two ribs right around that thumb and I don't know if you know it but you've got two yellow beautiful yellow birds behind you right now <laughs> while you're exercising they're they're beautiful so I'm going to elongate and then squeeze right here and come back and squeeze right here and come back. So it becomes a very small movement if it's going to be a correct movement to correct the scoliosis. There's nothing wrong with doing these long stretches. It can be very nice as an elongation of the entire fascial network. But when we're trying to create a specific change in the spine, we're going to also include this tiny little squeeze here. Okay, so together, elongate the, side, the hip on the side that's opposite of your lowest bump, push that hip down, and then side bend around your convexity. Inhale, get long, exhale, squeeze around the bump. Inhale, get long, exhale, squeeze around the bump. Inhale, get long, exhale, squeeze around the bump. Inhale, get long. Exhale, squeeze. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling. Three more. Inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale. That was perfect. Good job. Let me know if you have any questions and always stay in touch. I'm Karina Tech, author of Scolio Pilates.